information we have is for phase one. During phase one, the client gains the courage to face their addictive behavior. They begin to do mindfulness every day and are, and are encouraged to live a more healthy and balanced lifestyle with the use of proper nutrition and exercise, such as CrossFit and yoga. They are also begin to rebuild trust with their loved ones and work with their one-on-one -on -one counselors. The first graduate for phase one is David F. say there were a lot of good, uh, there was a lot of good things that I would like to say I retained in phase one, but the most important things were the mindfulness, uh, being able to cope with my emotions. I came in here and I was a wreck. Uh, my wife could testify to that. I was just an emotional wreck, uh, isolated, and didn't want to be around anybody. Spent most of my time locked in a hotel room and uh, by myself, of course. And, she, uh, I'd have her pick me up some days, and, uh, but phase one helped me to identify these emotions and just deal with them and, and not try to block them out or push them away and, and, uh, or cover them and, and act like everything was okay, you know, and uh, exercise helped. I mean, it was really, coming back in here, I was doing some exercise, but to be able to get back on track and and really uh, hit the cross that I had never done it up until I got here. Um, but one of the things that I was really uh, able to to cry over and that was the fact that, uh, was the losses part of the phase one. It was the fact that uh, there were certain times in my life where events took place, traumatic events as a child. I mean, from as far back as I can remember, you know, five years old. Uh, going to the local bars and pulling my dad out, and uh, my mom wouldn't uh, go in, so she'd send me in there. And I thought that was a normal thing to do, on, you know, from five to eleven years old. <clears throat> Coming in here, I found out that that was not normal, <laughs> and I was able to uh, identify that emotion and, and realize that that wasn't okay. And, but it's okay that that's behind me, and I can, I can. Uh, Try to deal with it, you know, better today by breathing, uh, just being aware that those things did happen, and uh, and I'm coping with it in a healthy way. Um, you know, that's just one thing. There were several areas of my life where I realized that I was doing like Christmases. I was taking off before Christmas, and you know, just not even saying why. And I couldn't figure out why I was going out and using. And, Right around these certain holidays, I get real depressed, and I, I realized that these were the times that, when I was a child, my dad would take off, and I remember this depression uh, as a kid, you know, and just remembering that it was always before Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving. I mean, all of those days, it just back to back to back. So it was a several month period, and I was able to identify that through uh, losses and and put forth the the timings, and so now I'm more aware that, you know, when these dates come again, I'm, I'm better able and equipped to deal with it um, when they happen. Um, yeah, so uh, above all, I'd have to say that that was probably the biggest thing that I took in. I had to ask Michael, um, I don't know if he's here, if I could be excused, you know, because I, I just started bawling outside because it, it just came all of a sudden. It's like, oh my gosh, it, this is the reason why I'm using it. This is the re I could put two and two together. This is the reason why I'm trying to cope the way I'm coping. And uh, I had never been able to identify it. I've been in a lot of treatment centers, and I've never been able to figure out why, what is the core issue. And I, I feel like I'm making progress. I feel like uh, as long as I get real with myself, uh, that as much as I put into this, I'm going to get it back. And that's what I really believe. So that's why I'm trying to give it my all, trying to... Uh, feel comfortable enough to be able to share a lot of the events that have taken place. That's just scratching the surface um, for myself. And I, I've been able to share with my wife some of the things that, that have gone on in our household. And 
kind of glad my parents aren't here tonight because I probably wouldn't have been able to share what I just shared. So thank you. Thank you.